question number 17 a resistance of resistance r is connected to a fully charged cell of negligible internal resistance okay so what we will do is first let us draw the circuit uh, i have a battery connected to a resistance r and it's connected like this okay uh, this is resistance r okay a uh, constant power p is dissipated in the resistor and cell and cell discharges in time t which means what you connect the cell to this one and you wait for time t and uh, after time t you see the entire energy in this cell gets converted into heat energy in the resistor so therefore if this is v here i can now say p is equal to v squared by r right and the energy dissipated is equal to v squared by r into t you can say this right now let me say p1 e1 here then an identical cell is connected in series with two identical resistors with each of the resistance up which means what i have one more cell like this and two resistors are connected over here r and r here and as a result of it uh, uh, what is the power dissipated in each resistance what is the power dissipated in each resistance okay first let us calculate what is power p2 should now be equal to v square divided by 2r so this will dissipate v square by 2r uh, sorry, the whole the whole resistance here connection combined to combined together will dissipate this much amount of energy, which means what each uh, resistor would have discharged or each resistor would have dissipated half of this P2. Why half of P2? Because you see, these are identical resistors. So therefore, it will be equal to V square by 4R. But what is V square by R? P. So I can now say this should be P1 divided by 4, right? So P by 4 which is nothing but the power dissipated in each resistor, right? So, this will be P by 4, this will be P by 4, so total will be P by 2, okay? That's what we get over here, it will be P by 2, okay? So, therefore, these two are incorrect, it could be between A and B. And what is the time taken? Now, let us look at time taken. So, E2 here will be equal to P1 divided by 4, uh, not P1 by 4, total power dissipated is V square by 2R multiplied by T dash, okay? I put like this, but you know you are using the same cell, the energy given out by the cell, okay, is same, right, the number of joules. So, therefore, you can now say energy dissipated in the first circuit is equal to energy dissipated in the second circuit, which means, now let us substitute here, which will be V square by R into T is equal to V square by 2 R into T dash. So, V square, V square goes away, R, R goes away. So, you can say 2 T is equal to T dash, in other words, T dash is equal to 2T, thus this is the right answer, thus B is the right answer.